Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Katie Satilli, and I'm so thankful that you're here joining me today for another video. Today I'm filming a what I eat in a day and I'm really excited about it. I filmed one I think a year ago and it did really well for me so I wanted to try this out with um, using my fitness pal because that's what I use the majority of the time so that's how I track like my calories and things like that and then I'll show you the things that I eat to try and stay in a caloric deficit so that I can lose a few pounds this month. If you are new here, I'd love it if you hit that red subscribe button followed by the bell for notifications. If you hit the bell for notifications, that's just the only way that you're gonna be able to see my videos on your newsfeed. Let's get into what I'm gonna be eating today. So I'm gonna start out by prepping my vegetables and basically I just clean them off and then chop them up into small little pieces. I like to try and keep them all the same size. I used to have a friend who went to culinary school and I learned that if you keep everything the same size when you're cooking it, that it will all cook at the same pace and it will just taste better. So that is my goal. That's what I try to do. So I'm just putting some cooking spray into my pan and then I put the vegetables in there. And then while those are cooking up, because they're such like finely chopped vegetables, it doesn't take very much time. So as those are cooking, I am just gonna be cracking three eggs into a bowl and then I'm just going to whisk it up with a fork and get out any crushed shells that I accidentally dropped in there. So now that my eggs are done cooking, I'm just gonna go ahead and plate it. And then I'm gonna be adding a few things on top, like some salt and pepper, and then this salsa verde from Trader Joe's. It is so good on scrambled eggs. If you guys have not tried it, it's totally worth a try. Um, otherwise, paste picante is a good one too. And then I'm just gonna be using this Great Value Fiesta Blend Cheese that is already shredded and I'm just gonna put a little bit on top. Not too much, but just enough to give it a little flavor. Okay, so I'm done making my breakfast. This is what I make a lot of days. It's just like the grilled mushrooms and tomatoes. You can add onions, you could add spinach, you could add whatever veggies you like in your omelet. And then I just did three eggs. You could do egg whites to cut back on calories. And then I have that Trader Joe's green salsa, which is really good. But I also use a paste salsa, which is just like the regular one from any grocery store. And then I put a little bit of cheese on top. I try not to get too carried away just because calories and all that stuff. So I'm going to eat my breakfast. So after I am done eating those beautiful eggs, I'm gonna go ahead and pour myself some water in my Yeti. I feel like I am newly addicted to using this Yeti for cold water. I feel like it just makes me happy to drink it throughout the day and have it still be cold. Um, next up, I'm gonna grab some coffee and make a second pot of coffee for the day. I mean, second cup of coffee for the day. So I got this coffee bean and tea leaf French roast coffee from my parents for Christmas. So I'm just gonna be making myself a cup of coffee. So a lot of people ask me how I take my coffee. So I wanted to show you, I just use some half and half. We get the great value brand. And then I use the Stevia packs from great, the Great Value brand as well. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. And I just pour in my coffee and then I put in the half and half and the two Stevia packs. And then those Stevia packs have no calories and so I just feel like it is an easy way to get some coffee in um, that is sweetened with like almost no calories. Next up, I'm gonna be using my Fitness Pal. This is not sponsored, this is just a tool that I like to use when I'm keeping track of my calories and trying to drop some pounds. So um, I just go in and it kinda has the uh, most frequently used um, or most frequently eaten items here at the top. So I'm just gonna be going in and putting my breakfast in for the day. And I'm not gonna show you every single meal, but I will show you breakfast that I put in. So you can see I had 1100 calories remaining for the day. 
So now we're moving on to lunch. And I would say for the most part, I try to eat salads for lunch. It's not always the case, but I try not to have carbs. I try to stick with some leafy greens. So um, this day I was making a big salad for both myself and my husband. So I'm just gonna be chopping up the lettuce that I already cleaned. I don't know why, but I hate cleaning lettuce. It drives me crazy. I feel like it's so annoying. Anyways, now I got some tomatoes, cucumbers, red bell pepper, and some turkey breast, and I'm just gonna be chopping all these things up and making a super big veggie salad. I feel like if you can fill up on veggies, that's probably one of the best ways to cut back on calories and to have some serious like health in your life. So if you are looking for salad options, I just love getting like any vegetables that I have in the fridge and just cutting them up and putting them on top of the salad. Okay, so this is my lunch. I just got home from the store. I um, went shopping for some fun things, which I'll share in a different vlog. This is just lettuce, tomatoes, avocado, red bell pepper, and some feta cheese. And then I'm gonna be using this Ken's Steakhouse Balsamic Vinaigrette, which I really like. I like this and the light kind. It's really yummy. And there's only 110 calories for every um, two tablespoons, which I think is really Whoa, really good. And then while I was out, I picked up this Coke Zero and it has zero sugar and zero calories. So I'm gonna be drinking this with my salad. Okay, so this is what I eat when I'm in a pinch and I don't really have anything planned. So it's just frozen broccoli, which I get in this pack from um, Walmart. It's just the great value kind. And then I put it in the microwave for six and a half minutes. And then I just defrosted this bag of shrimp and I'm going to be cooking it over here on this pan and I already put um, some minced garlic and some butter. So I'm gonna be cooking that up and I'm gonna be using garlic salt and lemon pepper to season it and it is so yummy. Now we have moved on to dinner. I didn't really say that in the transition, but this is what we're making for dinner. So this is so low in calories, you guys, like broccoli and shrimp, so low in calories. We entered it into my fitness pal and I believe it was like 200 calories for the whole meal, which is insane. Now, Sean says that it doesn't fill him up for very long. So he usually has to have a snack in the evening, but just wanted to throw that in there. The calories for this meal are super low and it is super, super yummy. So this is what it looks like, my dinner. So this is my plate and then I have Sean's plate over here and we're just going to scarf this down real quick, but it's so fast and easy, seriously. Like this is one of the fastest, most healthy meals that I know how to make. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching my what I eat in a day. I love filming videos like this. I feel like I don't do it very often, but I want to start doing it more often. Let me know if you have any questions about anything that I talked about today. The MyFitnessPal is a really good tool. If you treat it kind of like a hobby, that has helped me in my mindset and just kind of like when I have a minute to like go scroll the internet or text a friend or whatever. Instead, I just like sit down and log what I ate. So that really helps me. I am like way below on my calories for the day. So I'm really excited about that. I feel like anytime I can go below calories is a win for me. I gained a few pounds over the holidays. So I wanted to try and lose those pounds for the first like, January and February, like the first couple months of the year. So that is my goal. So I will keep you updated and let you know how it goes. I'm just basically doing my fitness pal and then I'm gonna be doing beach body workouts 
and doing like walks. I usually go on like 45 minute like fast paced walks and then I also do beach body. So I'm gonna start waking up at 5 a.m. again to do beach body. If you don't follow me on Instagram, that I always post when I wake up and work out. I always post on Instagram. So if you need like workout motivation, follow me over on Instagram. It's just katie.satilli. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did, and I will see you guys in my next video. Mm -hmm.